a message for those who want to control their ego. The ego is something we cannot live without. Without the awareness that I exist here, we cannot live our lives. The good side of the ego is that it guides us in creating our own lives and manifesting our ideals as a strong will to reality. However, if the ego becomes too strong, we constantly compare ourselves to others, considering whether we are superior or inferior to them. People with a strong ego do not want to lose to others and want to have an advantage. However, they know best how capable or talented they are. Therefore, they do not feel jealousy or competitiveness towards someone with vastly different abilities. Even if that person achieves great results, wins, and receives praise from many people, they do not feel any jealousy. They can join in praising that person and share in their joy. Humans compete with those at the same level. Competition occurs among siblings, cousins, school friends, and close acquaintances. Because they are competing on the same level, any difference in superiority causes inner turmoil. I believe most people suffer in such situations. Hatred, jealousy, and dissatisfaction directed at others eventually cause suffering for oneself. While it is up to the individual to hate others, it is themselves who fall into self-loathing and despair over their talents. What should these people do? They need to deeply examine their own ego. It is not about suppressing the ego within their hearts. Since the emergence of the ego requires tremendous energy, they should use that energy for better purposes. They should use the energy previously given to self-loathing, hatred, and dissatisfaction for self-improvement. It is necessary to transform one's energy so that they can live more naturally, more capable, and more splendidly. To do so, they must understand the truth. Knowing that humans are inherently children of God, or God itself, is enough. Then, that person is also a child of God, and so am I. A child of God does not hold dissatisfaction. A child of God is not without abilities. A child of God is not lacking in love and compassion. There is nothing lacking in a child of God. As a child of God, everything is perfect, harmonious, compassionate, and filled with love and all talents flourish. Inherently, we have 100% love, 100% compassion, and 100% talent within us. 
The question is how to uncover it. For that, we will use the life energy given to us today. How can we develop the wonderful talents inherent in us as God itself? When we focus our energy on that, we stop comparing ourselves to others. Every day, we compare ourselves to who we were yesterday, striving to improve ourselves. In this way, we can control our ego 